Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Frigidaire refrigerator upper hinge bearing. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at ApplianceFartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new upper hinge bearing. The upper hinge bearing is located on the freezer door. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if it's lost or damaged and the hinge is loose. In order to get to the part, we're going to get on a step stool so we can reach it. Now that we're up top, we're going to put a piece of tape across the cabinet and the door to hold it in place so it doesn't slip or fall. Once you have that in place, we can use a Phillips screwdriver to take the screw out that holds the hinge cover on. Once you have the screw out, you can slide the hinge cover forward and lift it off the hinge. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. Now that we have the cover off, we can disconnect the wiring harness. There's no locking tab or anything, you just have to carefully separate it. Once you have it separated, we can grab our ratchet with the 3 inch socket and take out these bolts that hold the hinge down. Once you have both bolts out, we have to take the upper hinge off. So we're going to grab it and lift it off the door. And we have to carefully feed the wiring harness through the hinge. Once you have it off the wiring harness, you can pull it off the refrigerator. Now that we have the hinge off, we have access to the upper hinge bearing. It's just pressed into the door and locked in there with some tabs. We're going to have to take a small flathead screwdriver and carefully get underneath it and crack this edge off and push the lip in so we can grab it and pull it out with the locking pliers. So you just want to be careful you don't scratch the door. You want to be careful that you don't hit these wires and damage them. But you want to kind of push this in so we can try to get a locking pliers on it to pull it out. Once you get the upper hinge bearing off, you can pull it over the wiring harness and off the refrigerator. Here's the old upper hinge bearing next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new upper hinge bearing on, we're going to grab the wiring harness and feed it through the bearing. You can push the bearing down into the door. You want to be very careful of this lip. It's pretty fragile. If you push down on the outer edge of it too much, you might crack it. So we're going to use our thumb to push it down as far as we can. And then we're going to grab a hammer and a piece of wood and just tap lightly on the inner edge back and forth. Move the wiring harness around and go back and forth four different ways and just lightly tap it down. Once you have it seated flush with the door, we can put the hinge back on. To put the hinge on, we're going to feed the wiring harness through it and slide the pin down into the bearing. Once you have it in place and the holes lined up, you can use the 3 inch socket with the ratchet to put the bolts back in. Now we can reconnect the wiring harness. There's a little tab right here that has to be lined up with the slot right here. Once you have it lined up, all you have to do is push it together so you get a good connection. And then we can put the hinge cover back on. To put the hinge cover back on, we're just going to set it down a little bit forward and then push it back so the locking tabs grab on the front. Then we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screw in the back. Now that we have the refrigerator put back together, we can take the tape off the door, 
plug it in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.